Hi, I'm Genesis Holler, part of the Gay Straight Alliance, and you're watching Travel Review. Hey everyone, welcome to Travel Review. On this week's episode, we'll have more results from last weekend's marching band competition. Also on the broadcast, we'll find out more about the color guard. All this and more coming up on Tribal Review. Custom T-shirts and more is the perfect place to celebrate your style. You can get apparel for friends, families, clubs, and businesses. Custom print your apparel and more at Big Frog located at 9022 Northwest Skyview Avenue, Kansas City. TLC Automotive is a local, fast, and great way to get your car fixed. TLC offers oil changes, brake checks, vehicle inspections, and much more. Contact Jim Carlson at 816-833-4411 to schedule an appointment. Hey, for SH High School, I'm Asia Margo. The pink explosion is everywhere, and that can only mean one thing. October is upon us, and that means it's National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so wear your pink in support of this important cause. And I'm Michaela Spicer. Today is Thursday, October 4th, 2018. Here are your top school news stories. On Saturday, September 29th, the marching band competed in the AAA division of the Pride of the Ozark Festival at Ozark High School on September 29th. They broke into finals and finished eighth overall. The color guard is hard at work this year. Travel Review's EJ Valdepino found out more about how their season is going. Karema has been doing color guard for two years. She loves the feeling after performing. My favorite thing is the show when we get to perform it and how the feeling is after we perform it and how great it was and how we did so much work and it all turned out well. Katana is the captain of Color Guard. She feels the new field is better this year. It's amazing. It's so much better than grass. There's no more holes to sprain our ankles in or break our knees. It's so great. Jonathan is the only male on Color Guard. He thinks this year is bigger and better. This year is a lot bigger than it has been in the last few years. Um, we moved from around nine, uh, between five to nine people every single year to a total of 14, the biggest it's ever been in like our school's history. And so it's really exciting to have this many of us out there on the field and it's definitely been one of our best seasons. Peggy Smith created Color Guard in 1967. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm EJ Velop. Thanks EJ. Coming up next, we'll get a closer look at the new stadium. Collision is an excellent place to get any dents, scratches, or totaled cars fixed like new in a timely manner. Visit the Carriners for a free estimate and every repair comes with a lifetime warranty. Whether it's a minor scratch or major hail damage, the Carriners take pride in all work with every car every time. Carriners has been family owned since 2012 and all insurances are welcome, plus much more. Get your car repaired at Carriner Collision located at 440 East Monroe Street, Buckner, Missouri. Welcome back. By now, most of you have seen the new stadium. Raiden Ra Fraking wanted to get a closer to look to see how it became to be and files this report. The turf placement for the field costs approximately $390,000. Coach Schartz finds that the improvements on the field are long awaited and overdue. Anxiously awaiting the groundbreaking and and the kids playing on it. It's, uh, it's been a big game changer for our soccer program, our band, uh, PE department, and, and obviously football program. The track was improved from six to eight lanes. Vaughn Young believes that everybody benefits from the new stadium. Uh, we got the new turf, uh, which is really nice. Uh, we also got the new eight lane track. And then uh, there's a new section of bleachers uh, at the north end, which uh, more Soccer lines were made into the field as one of the improvements done on the turf. Jaden Richardson feels that the soccer team benefits the most from the turf. 
Uh, I feel the soccer team has benefited the most from the turf because they went from the rugged grass to the nice turf, so I think it's improved their playing. The visitors also have a new concession stand. Reporting for Travel Review, I'm Rain Frank. Sports is next, and the Indian softball team is in a position to win the conference championship. Yes, they picked up two more wins this week, and Gabby Bowie continues to move deeper into the golf postseason. That's right, AJ and Michaela. I'll have more results in sports at the other side of the break. Come to Travel Perk open Monday through Friday in the Media Center between 4th and 5th hour. We're at the concession stands before school. They have everything ranging from 50 cents to a dollar. They have tea, hot chocolate, coffee, and apple cider. Come to Travel Perk. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time. Choose from a variety of fresh, great tasting foods and custards to be prepared by their friendly staff. Let Culver's welcome you to deliciousness. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. Hey everybody, I'm Tristan Kander with your Indian Sports Report. The girls softball team added three more wins over the past seven days. They started with a 3-2 win over William Christman on September 27th. The Indians offense exploded with a 21-0 victory over Ruskin on October 1st. But the big win came when the Indians avenged an early loss to Belton by coming up with a 9-2 conference win on October 2nd. Olivia Peters pitched a complete game with three innings where she put down the Pirates in order. The Indians tailed 11 hits including Alicia Monday's three-run homer over the left center field fence that broke the game wide open. The win puts the Indians in position to win the Greater Kansas City Suburban White Division Championship. They are now 10-1 and in conference and 16-8 and overall. The varsity volleyball team lost three matches in the past seven days. They dropped matches to Oak Park 2-0 on September 27th and matched to St. Pius the 10th and a match against St. Joe Central 2-0 on September 29th in the Grandview Tournament. The team bounced back beating Grandview 2-0, ending the tournament at 2-1. They also beat Raytown on October 2nd, 2-0. The girls are 11-10-2 on the season. The football team had a tough night on September 28th, losing to Park Hill 23-7. The Indians' only score came when Vaughn Young returned this kickoff for a touchdown in the first quarter. The team now stands at 3-3 three and three on the season. In boys soccer, the Indians lost their game against Oak Park 3-1 on September 26th. The boys then lost to Black County October 2nd, 3-1. The Indians are now 5-7 and seven on the season. Gabby Valifi placed 9th in the Class 2 District 8 Girls Varsity Golf Tournament on October 1st. She shot a 92 at Paradise Point Golf Course in Smithville to qualify for the Section 4 golf tournament early next week in St. Joseph. The girls varsity tennis team lost to William Christman 8-1 on September 27th and then lost to William Christman again 5-0 in Class 2 District 14 girls tournament on October 1st. The girls finished this season 5-7. Finally, the cross country teams competed at the Green Valley Invite September 29th Brooklyn Cedarwall led the girls' team with a 5th place finish. A.J. Wilson led the boys' team with a 20th place finish. Both the boys' and girls' teams came in 4th place overall. That's it for your Indian Sports Report. I'm Tristan Carinder. Asia and Michaela will have more news after the break. Enjoy Toscanos in our new waiting and dining area while catching up on your favorite sporting events on our big screen TVs. Come in and try the freshly made pizzas served with our homemade bread. Or try some of our favorites like the spinach artichoke chicken pasta or lasagna. Also, if you're in the mood for something new, try the spicy penne rustica or spaghetti carbonara. Let Renee and John treat you to a taste of Little Italy at Toscanos located at 312 South Hudson Street, Buckner, Missouri. Welcome back. It's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk. The freshman students are settling in here at the high school. Chapel Reviews William Smith wanted to find out how they are fitting in. 
freshmen are enjoying the high school. I went out to find what they are liking most about it. Like the students are really friendly here. There's no one that doesn't like you. Um, the teachers are always supportive and they just make people's day. What I like about the school is um, just the selection at lunch. It seems like we have a lot more freedom. We don't have as much holdbacks. I love all the teachers and I love the freedom we get. I like walking around the halls and not getting in trouble for walking around. What I like about the high school is that you have a lot more opportunities to do a future career, like firefighters, um, police officers, and all sorts of other cool stuff. I like that we get to do a lot, a lot more like walking around. There's uh, in the one, in the, there's more options in the cafeteria and such. I like Fortis Age because it's clean, organized, and they have good lunch and they have some pretty good chicken nuggets. I like how it gives you more freedom and there's more lunch. So the favorite part about being a freshman was how the teachers were all nice. My name is William Smith and I'm reporting for Trap Overview. I remember when my freshman year is pretty fun and crazy. Mine was interesting. <laughs> college application week continues today with an all-out college application blitz, while Friday will feature an I applied photo booth during lunch shifts. The following colleges and universities will be visiting the school next week. Central Methodist University will be here on October 10th at 8.30 a.m. And Missouri Western State University will visit at 1.30 p.m. on October 11th. Illinois College will be here at 8.15 a.m. If you are interested in visiting with these reps, stop by the Career and College Advisor, Ms. Crystal Breyer, office to get a pass. Well, that's it for this week's travel review. I'm Asia Margo. And I'm Michaela Spicer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.